What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another exciting episode. We're, uh, I'm hiding underneath the, the back hitch of my SUV right now because me and Porn Stash are fishing together, which naturally means it's gonna rain and be nasty. It's 40 degrees raining right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful day outside. Now we're doing something today we've been talking about doing and wanting to do for a very, very long time. Porn Stash actually did it uh, with cup bait the other day. Had a ton of success at this this lake right here. Pretty jack for it. But you guys know if you if you follow bass fishing, you see a lot of people throw big old trout swim baits just like this Huddleston I got tied on right there. They're, they're awesome bait. Some of the biggest bass ever in history um, that have been documented have been caught on baits that look like that guy. Well, we're at a lake today where there's a whole bunch of trout that got stocked. They stock them every year when the water's really cold. People catch them, they keep them, they eat them, whatever, and then they die off in the summer. So it's not like California and stuff where they stock them every single week, the whole year, or anything like that. But instead of using big giant swim baits like that one right there, we want to catch something giant on a live trout. So we're going to go catch some trout at the lake today. Hopefully there's no guarantees. If we don't catch any, we have trout heads chopped up from some past experiences. Hopefully you guys like the, uh, the catch and cookie saw a couple days back. But yeah, we're, we're in straight up experiment mode today. He's ready to go. We got freaking Zorro. We're going to tie a giant like 10 to 12 inch trout on a circle hook and see what freaking happens. There's giant bass in here, there's giant catfish in here. I have no idea what we're gonna catch. I really wanna catch a bass on a live trout just because that would blow my mind. I got a chub just thinking about it. Speaking of that, let's get rigged up, get to the lake, start catching some bait. All right, MFers, here we go. Got porn stash over there. It's raining, man. It's doing a little rain. It rain's supposed to let up a little bit, so we're hoping after a couple minutes here, a couple minutes, I mean like 60, we will have rainless. But first step, obviously, in using Live trout for bait is catching live trout. I know rocket science. All right, guys, trout fishing has been a little bit tough so far. We're gonna switch up tactics from the spinner to uh, some dough bait. But for now, while the uh, while we're trying to catch trout, we're gonna use one of these trout heads on the bottom from the uh, the trout I caught yesterday. Any any specific method to the trout head madness, master? Through the snout, he says, deal. We're gonna give him a good little hook. That's a slimy guy. Thank you for tasting delicious in my tacos. I mean, that's, that's what we're doing. Did you catch one? <laughs> Caught a grass. All right, Mr. Troudhead, you get yourself eight. That's the dangle. That's the right dangle. All right, Mr. Troudhead is placed. We'll set the old pole into a rock sitch, and then we're gonna rig up our trout sitch. Lots of sitches going on. Here's our, uh, our dough situation. We're just gonna form that around our little hook, since they're too big of dickheads to eat a spinner right now, apparently, for me anyway. Hopefully Josh will get one. All right, we're gonna put that guy on the bottom. <laughs> we're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. Man, I got no. What is that? That's a bass. Oh my god, we're trying to catch trout over there, and Josh caught a largemouth on a cast master. <laughs> uh, Alright, we're off to a blazing slow start, but hey, we caught, we caught something. Kitty bite? Alright, good sign. The stash just had our first catfish bite. We're just, I mean, I'm fishing this... I got salmon eggs on now. Just riding the struggle bus big time. Rain's lightening up at least. I don't know if that matters, but so far been uh, a bit of struggle action going on. A little bit of struggle action. A little cat mouth action happening here. He's taking it. Gah! Dude, he was just steadily swimming with it. He had it. Line, just leave it. Yeah. Leave it he definitely didn't take it off. That big one that Damn. Really All right, we got another bite. He's taking it. Point your rod tip right at him, and then when he pulls too hard, just lift into him hard. I'm letting him go with it. Should I kind of slow down the spool too? He still got it. Leave it. Come back. 
These things are frustrating, Josh. Hey, we got got two bites. Trout heads doing it. It could be a small one. But it could be a small one. It kind of felt like it, to be honest. Yeah. Three bites now in a short amount of time. Just swimming away with it. Trout head on the bottom. Haven't still have not caught a live trout to use for bait. Josh had one maybe come off on a spinner. I haven't had a bite yet on my bottom salmon egg slash dough bait situation, so I'm thinking about tying a, a spinner or something back on. <laughs> I've been, uh, oh, what did I catch? It's a bass! Damn it! <laughs> Never been so mad to catch, dude, we're putting him on a circle. <laughs> I put on an inline spinner. I knew the way he ate it, and he was right by the jetty. God dang it. <laughs> Usually not mad to catch bass. You guys are probably like, what the hell's wrong with you? Well, we're trying to catch trout for bait. Caught a bass. That's, that's about how these, these trips usually go, but I'm feeling better. Our activity level seems to be increasing of all species. Trout are jumping around a little more. We've had like three catfish takes now. Josh caught a bass on a, on a spoon. Things are getting good. Oh. No way. Dude, no I think way. I got a trout. I got a trout. Stay on. Stay on! Yes! Come on! Over the bucket! I lost one last time. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Never come up! Dude, we need to like put him in the bucket while I uh rig that up. Can we do that? Oh no! No, he's right here. He's so slick! Don't let him go. Josh, water! Just throw him in, just throw him in. <laughs> yes! <laughs> just put him in. <laughs> Go. All right, I'm gonna rig up my catfish pole. <laughs> Hopefully that guy stays alive. I'll, I'll make uh, sure he stays alive. Okay, Josh, you keep him alive. We got a trap for bait. Success! <laughs> we did it! I got my big swim bait rod. I'm gonna rig him up so I can cast this trout out here. There's my handy dandy trout rig. We got an eight out weight. A two, eight out hook. Eight out. Eight out weight. Eight out hook. Two ounce weight. I'm gonna throw it on my big ass swim bait setup. Okay, good. He's still alive. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about like casting him off, and I don't want him to hit the water that hard because there's about a 90% chance he's gonna die when he hits the water. <laughs> Coming in hot! <laughs> Dude, I got a chub right now. I'm so excited. It took us it took us so long to catch that fish. And <laughs> we finally we got bait. Dude. I'm like scared of what's gonna eat this. <laughs> it's, it's gonna, there's gonna be a hundred pounder at least. Watch, like a three pound bass will eat it, which I'd be fine with. All right, guys, got the uh, we got the spread going now. Finally, it took forever to catch a trout. It's still raining. It was supposed to be done raining by now, so you know naturally the the weathermen were wrong. But yeah, we got this one, this pole right here, which is just one of my bass rods, seven two extra heavy bass rod with. 15, 17 pound fluorocarbon. That's got the trout head on. That's what we've got bit on so far. But now we caught the trout. So I got my big swim bait rod, my, my eight foot swim bait rod, seven power out there with the live trout on a two ounce weight kicking around down there on the bottom. Pretty freaking slick. Got Josh out there. He's trying for trout, trying for uh, for catfish or bass, whatever's gonna eat the cut head over there. I feel like we got a pretty good spread. Channel's running right through this area right here and then it's really flat on both sides. So I've wanted to do this for so long to catch one on the whole live trout. So hopefully we can make that happen. All right, guys, we're freaking out right now. The live trout was just getting drag ripped, <laughs> which is funny because and that drag is the, the, the drag is like, it won't go as loose as we need it to. He could still have it, honestly. I mean, if he was gonna come back for something, you'd think it would really be for the live bait. That wasn't a five pounder. No, that was not a small fish. <laughs> That could have been a big bass even. We don't really know. Okay. <laughs> All right. We were just about to freaking move. Is he alive? He might still be alive. He's kicking, dude. He got a big old bite mark on his side. If you guys are wondering if we're lying about having a, a trout bite, <laughs> look at that little bite mark dude. on his side. Look, he had dude. right there. He had all of this in his mouth. I know. He had the whole thing. Whole side. Mouth. I'm just glad he's still alive, dude. I'm getting dude. him back out there. Oh, yeah. These things are pretty hardy. I would get over a 15 pound finish for sure. Oh, another one. I got you, mate, Josh. 
Stop wiggling! All right, we got two live baits now. Here he goes. Josh is going with the bobber rig. <laughs> you got it on a spinning rod too. Good luck. <laughs> Dude, I, th I think you did it. I think you're good. All right, so we now got bobber with the live trout. Bottom with the cut head. Live trout on the bottom. Cut head on the bottom. We got a good spread going. I feel good about this. I feel really good. Well, that was, uh, that was not what I was expecting. Kind of a tough day on the water. Now we're about to do something I have never, ever done on my channel in history. Um, I don't know if many people have actually done this before. We are going to go eat our bait. We're going to eat our bait. Never done it before. Let's go do it. Well, well not first when I left the house today. was not planning on doing a trout catch and cook yet again, but... This is what we ended up doing basically because we did not catch any fish. Now, so real quick talk about how I prepared this trout today, a little bit different than the last time. And then let's talk about how today went and uh, what we're gonna do moving forward with this little experiment. So I did basically my traditional method. I cut the head off, gutted the trout, skinned the trout, cut the fins off, did a little bit of salt and pepper action, and then uh, straight into a frying pan on like medium high heat or so. Um, just strip salt and pepper. I mean with olive oil a little bit of the pat of butter in there How freaking delicious that looks right there. That looks I mean, I'm excited for this. I'm real excited It is a little bit weird to me that I'm eating something that was in a fish's mouth that I was targeting uh, Like three hours ago. That's that's a little bit different. It's the first time I can say I've ever done that But uh, hey bon appetit that fish wanted to eat this and now I do too So let's talk about the fish a little bit today. Um we basically, like I told you guys, we used trout heads chopped off from previous times we've been out fishing uh, and caught trout the last few outings, these stalker trout that they put in these lakes. And then we also caught these two trout, which I just cooked up, kind, kind of weird. I, maybe it's not weird. I don't even know. Um, but we wanted to catch something on those guys whole. So I caught the first one, um, and so I threw that out on the bottom, put it with like a slip sinker, two ounce weight rig, and uh, left it out there. About a half hour into that being out there, my line and my drag, and I was using this big reel, the drag didn't even go that loose, unfortunately. I kind of wish it was looser now, but it was ripping. Something was pulling and pulling and pulling for about five to eight seconds. Was ripping line off that. I picked it up, I felt him going with it. It was something freaking huge. I don't know if it was a big bass, big catfish. Could have been either in that lake, and it was a live trout. When we reeled it in, the trout was still alive, as you guys saw. And pretty much after I had that bite on the live trout, things slowed down substantially. I don't know if it's because it got brighter outside, or they were just feeding first thing in the morning and feeding in low life periods, or what the deal was. But uh, we had about five bites today, so we can't really complain. You know, when I started my channel, I told you guys I was always going to like include even the bad days, the days when you didn't necessarily catch them, because I want to be honest. I want to give it to you guys, and that's just part of fishing. So I want to include that with my channel every time as well. Now, we did catch a largemouth. We caught two trout um, as well, so it wasn't a total waste of a day or anything like that. Most importantly, we learned that uh, even in a lake where it's only a seasonal stocking, it, uh, a large game fish will absolutely eat a 12 inch, these are 12 inch trout on a, on a circle hook. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't hook up. Missed about five other bites on the cut trout heads. Just didn't hook up. Uh, you generally catch, I don't know, probably around 50% of those fish that bite those. Today we caught 0%, so way, way lower than usual. Not really sure what the deal was with that. I think we did everything in our power, but uh, we'll get them next time. This is definitely something I'm gonna keep doing the next couple of days. And I want you guys to know, I'm making these videos for you, so I want you to know if uh, you like the live trout. I gotta catch something on a damn live trout before the ice gets on these lakes, because that would be freaking sweet. I got a lake in mind that I think I might be able to do it. It has musky in it, so could be really cool to catch a giant musky as well. Also, again, before I let you guys go, check out this uh, this new Melican Fishing Certified MF, or you guys are all certified MFers if you're watching this video. Uh, go check out this brand new piece of apparel over at MillikanFishing.com. Com. Like I keep telling you guys, until the end of November, every purchase on that site will enter you to a chance to an all-inclusive pay trip with yours truly, the Zark, Porn Stash, whatever, whoever you guys want, whoever you have in mind, we'll make it happen. But uh, yeah, go check it out. I'll link at the top of the description. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you like these live bait videos going for giant fish, giant catfish, giant bass, whatever. And I'll catch you next time. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. I'm sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine